The Night Stalker, another book series from the Fun Pimps for Alpha 18. And let's listen to what Manuel has to say, and I'll give my feedback in commentary with what I think. Is it balanced or is it not? Well, what do you think? Let me know. Hey everyone, it's Joel from the Fun Pimps, and we're here today to talk about the Night Stalker. Now, the Night Stalker is all about stealth, and I love this book series. This one's one of my favorites. Um, so let's get right into it. Um, volume 1 is going to be stealth. Use the cover of night to inflict more damage to your prey. Do 5% more sneak damage at night. Seems somewhat useful. A again, I have this general issue with 5% extra damage because it's very situational uh, of getting 5%. You have the same thing with the Magnum one. 5% sneak damage is actually not a lot. I mean, it's not inconsequential, but it, it's not a lot. I mean, I would probably have done 10% uh, maybe even 15% in some cases for some of these uh, books that we're having because 5% just, you know, it's like an extra one point of damage. I mean, that, you're not going to notice that, unfortunately. And then, uh, so volume two, uh, Silent Night, meld into the shadows and sneak 5% better at night. So this one will help you with your stealth abilities. Uh, same thing there, 5%, I mean, it, it means that your visibility is going to go down from 20 to 19. Not terribly exciting. If, at, you know, at least 10% going from 20 to 18, even if it went 20 to 17, you probably wouldn't notice a huge difference. But 20 to 19, I mean, that it's such a small difference that you probably are not going to practically notice any difference. And I think that's some of the problem with these books, that the buff seems to be there, but it just seems to be underwhelming, unfortunately. Volume three, blades, bone, iron, or steel. It doesn't matter if it cuts. Bladed weapons do 5% more damage at night. Same thing, you know, 5%, buff it up, give me 10%, give me 15% to make this book some something that is interesting. And volume four, thief adrenaline. At night, when the adrenaline is rushing, you will never feel the weight of your burdens. Never encumbered at night. I love this book because I get all loaded up with loot at at the uh you know and then the sun and i can't move very well but then the sun goes down and all these go away it doesn't matter how encumbered you are what penalties you have it wipes them all out so it's a fantastic book and, and this is a book that i like you i mean you can listen to mad Bull as well I mean, he goes through book number one two three yeah yeah five percent here five percent there and uh, then he gets to this one. It's like, yeah, this is really exciting. I love this one. This is great. You're never encumbered at night. And it seems, you look at it and it's just like, yeah, this is really useful. You go looting. And as it hits 10 p.m., you grab the rest of your loot and you run home. Or you even continue looting because you're not going to be encumbered. And that's a huge difference compared to dealing an extra one damage. So I, I think that they need to be buffed up a little bit. The same way as I had a little bit of an issue with the Fireman's Almanac never being encumbered in the in the burnt biome, never encumbered is quite significant. Maybe having 50% less encumbered, meaning that it, you take 50% less stamina drain uh, when, you know, this condition such as night of, of burning biome, because never is quite a big difference. I mean, it's literally the difference between uh, walking really slowly and being able to run around as normal. So it's not a small difference like these five, even five or 10% is a lot less consequential to never being encumbered at night. And uh, one of my favorites. Archery, no one will see it coming. Bows do 5% more damage at night. Yep, 5%, too little. Even Mad Bull just sound really excited about it. Volume six, Twilight Thief. The early bird gets the worm, but the night owl sees everything. Gain 5% more XP from kills at night. Yep, this is nice. Again, I, I think that the flavor of these ones are pretty good. I just think that the buffs are too small. 5% means that instead of, let's say, 500 uh, experience for a zombie, you get 5 turn to 5. And that's actually not a lot of difference. You know, if you gave 10%, that would be 550, then it would start to actually be noticeable. But 525 or 500, eh, I, 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 I don't care as much compared to never being encumbered a night. It just means that some of the books you, you find, you're going to go like, ah. Eh, don't care. And then you find the good one, you go like, yes, 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 I, 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 I die for this one. Well, maybe not die, but I definitely like this one. And it should be, all should be relevant, I think. And the last one is Slumber Party. It's best to come late to the party, do an extra 50% sneak damage to sleeping victims at night. This one is 
Awesome. So I like the uh, the risk reward. You know, you're going to go into a POI at night where they're all running and um, nastier. There's you know there's more feral spawning at night out in the wild. So just being out in general and being you know this is a bit of bit of a perk where you know you're taking a risk, but you know you've got this extra damage. So you're probably going to you know if you got if you're perked into you know agility and all the knife perks that the traditional uh, thief assassin character is going to play and be you're going to do massive damage so i love this one too and i think that's nice extra sneak damage at night i think that's that's appropriate you're you're, you're a better assassin at night which sort of makes sense and this one really really sounds good and again same as the encumbrance at night mad Bull sounds really excited about it and then the, the other ones eh meh don't care. Don't really seem to be a big difference. It's going to be interesting to see what's the ultimate. And then you combine that with the uh, the collector bonus. This one's crazy. Sneak attacks with knives, not machetes, but sneak with knives deal 200% extra damage at knives. So so at night. So when you add all this together and get all the stealth perks, it makes for an amazing amazing thief experience and assassin kind of playthrough. So. I love this set. And that one is actually quite good. Uh, it means that sneak attacks uh, with knives at night deals 200% plus 50 if uh, they're sleeping. So that's 250 plus maybe the 5% for the blade plus all the other, let's say you hit them in the head or something, you, you know, maybe you can do an extra 400% damage uh, just because at night. And that's huge actually, because if you sneak up to uh, a sleeping uh, zombie at night, and you hit him in the head instead of doing 40 damage, all of a sudden you're gonna do 150, 160 damage, or it's actually it's headshot as well. So, you know, maybe you do, you know, 200 damage, which means that you can take out a lot of the zombies, maybe not the feral or radiated, but you can deal a massive amount of damage. And again, I, I think this is nice. I think that this makes it really worthwhile to be out exploring at, uh, at night with, uh, but you have to have a knife. So not machete, but it means that, you know, maybe they'll put in a combat knife or something. So you don't have to use just a normal steel knife or something that we use to skin the animals. That would be really cool. Just to really have a real proper assassin type. Well, what do you think? Are they properly balanced? Should they be buffing some of these ones? Let me know below and uh, I'll catch you next time. Special thanks to the great patrons supporting the channel. If you would like to join the vetted community and support these videos, do follow the Patreon link.